Hello and welcome to another Guardians of Workshop video. I'm your host Demi and welcome to another Cutting Mark Conversions. This is episode 3. Um, or I don't know whether I should call them episodes or just what they are. However, this will be the first one that I have started filming before I've even cut anything. Um, to show you my ideas. This is a very, very ambitious one, as you can see. And you can probably guess what it is. Um, I'm planning at time of recording to purchase the Saruman or think the mounted one from Games Workshop and I already have Gandalf the Grey mounted and I want Radigas mounted um, I'm going to have two versions in the end one being the old Lord of the Rings one this one and the other being the Escape from Golden Town one however with the pose from the Escape from Goblin Town one he is best suited to um, Shadowfax, the two towers Shadowfax, which kind of running the one striding one which everyone has um, and this one he's far more static and the other wizards are static as well which is why I wanted a horse that was in a similar pose and I've been looking through my models so I looked at um, Theoden, Wag Attack Theoden um, however there's braiding on his horse um, I looked at maybe Aragorn, but the horse is slightly too mobile. Um, so, in an ambitious attempt, I've settled on this damaged Legolas and Gimli model. Um, I'm going to strip it down, strip both down. I have another Radagast for a foot model. Um, and the aim is to combine these. And I realise this will be a very long and difficult process um, due to the fact that there's two models or two passengers um, on the horse however I am thinking the majority of the cloak will cover kind of this portion here um, but I do need to saw the majority of this side off um, and I'm going to try if it focuses and get the dagger and the staff and how his hands are all there as part of the horse itself as part of the model, because that's, I think, part of the thing that sets Radagast apart. Um, as you will have noticed with all these episodes, it's all part of a kind of White Council theme I'm going for, um, which is the next army I want to paint, um, perhaps, or at least convert the, all the models so I have them there ready to paint um, while I do another project, just kind of a flick in between. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you these, my ideas behind it, and I'll come and show you when I start hacking and sawing. So, bringing you back into the chop shop. Um, this is now mounted Legolas and Gimli. Um, I didn't show you because I was just hacking away. Um, and I have uh, stripped all of Gimli off bar this bit um, Legolas over fr left his front legs for um, like alignment and everything um, I have also trimmed his like thigh and knee off this side because I've also cut up Radagast this is him now um, because the aim is to have it oh if I can do this with one hand Well, something along the lines of there. Um, however, obviously with just sawing it, it's not quite fit into place. So if I prop him up against there, Radagast will be something like that. Um, and this has posed a bit of a problem because he's obviously quite side on here. And when you're riding a horse, you're very front on. Um, so I need to um, get my Dremel out um, and get away a slightly bigger chunk of the front of the horse. Kind of like in here, in this little front area here. Um, so that's the next stage. Um, and then it will be a case of trying to fit it into the best position, trying to manipulate the metal a little bit more, 
Um, there's no real way I can twist that bottom piece of uh, skirt. However, I want to keep it because it's got all the dagger and the detail and everything on um, that I like. So luckily, a lot of this green stuff is going to be covered up by cloth, which I find okay to do. Um, it's not too bad. So the only tricky bit will be putting some reins that go into his hand which I think will just um, fit nicely and taper into his actual hand that's still on the thing that's holding the staff as well can have a bit of scope to it um, and like I say really reducing that thick bit of metal down there with my Dremel so that's how it is so far that's my thought process and I will come back when I've kind of put the Dremel on and carved away a bit more material so you join me back in um, and this is how it's looking I have Faramir here because I wanted to look at the height of uh, Raddy and try and get him kind of proportionally as best as possible and I think that's about right because Faramir's horse is dipping a bit and Raddy is standing proud so that's how it is at the moment as you can see, it's kind of all um, all there, and I've literally just put a big bit of green stuff, squished it in with the pin, and to level it at the right height. I filled in a bit of the back of the horse, um, but I haven't done anything else. And I'm just going to wait for this to set because then I literally have to just sculpt the cloak and the uh, other bits of his tunic, etc. So that's where I'm at, at the moment. The next thing you'll see is some more sculpting. And now to bring you up to date, um, as you can see on this side, I've sculpted kind of the lower tunic on his uh, of his robe, um, and I've also done the other side. The other side is not quite as kind of well defined because it doesn't have to be. As the cloak, as you can see, runs all the way this way, and it's going to run all the way up over the back end, covering the majority of this. Uh, bit here is going to flow out a bit rather than straight down as well um, so that's the main bit I'm going to once this is cured um, put a real load of green stuff over the back um, to give it some shape before I start moulding cloak lines etc um, happy with it so far um, doing it in stages so the green stuff can dry and then moving on to an, the next bit um, doing other projects in the meantime so that's how it's going along so far and I really really like the look of it from here um, hopefully it will all come out well and when I do a paint job it will actually be un, not unnoticeable but it will blend in with the model so here you can see me um, rolling out some of my green stuff milliput mix um, this is for the uh, main cloak, cape, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is very simply using a cheap roller I bought off eBay, which is generally used for like modelling. And now you can see um, this next stage was uh, very fiddly, um, trying to get the cloak in the correct kind of the way it is sat to cover up some of the um, damages I'd done earlier. Uh, attaching various bits of uh, green stuff, cutting out where the actual old metal hood was um, and then trying to just slot it in, in underneath um, to make it as seamless, pos seamless as possible. Um, this was a very tricky stage. Um, the, the reworking and trying to get the thickness of the cloak correct and get the correct kind of folds and etc. Um, proved difficult and was probably the most time consuming on the whole uh, conversion however really happy with the outcome um, really happy with how it turned out and it covered up the majority of the dremeling and etc afterwards so this is just me attaching the start of the cloak and then obviously you just rework and rework and rework to try and get the right folds in the material and the green stuff fold at the back was just how the green stuff fell
and finally, the finally the last bit was to attach the uh, reins, which I made just rolling out as I did with the clip. Um, bit of super glue and just trying to fit it in where it is. Um, so this is the end of the conversion. I hope you've enjoyed uh, how I've done it and how it's transformed from Legolas and Gimli on horse to, through to Radagast. Uh, if you've liked this video, please comment, like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you soon.